it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you guys can tell, but half of my mouth is numb because I went to the dentist this morning and got some fillings. So like, I, I can't feel my mouth like at all. <laughs> so I'm sorry if my mouth looks weird. But in today's video, I am going to be upgrading my hamster enclosure to the IKEA Detolf, which is a huge enclosure that a lot of people on YouTube use. And that's basically what this video is going to be, me upgrading and doing all that and kind of changing my room around. So this is what I have now. I've had this enclosure for about over a week now and I just want to upgrade it to something bigger. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to move my gecko enclosure to another area and then this entire dresser is going to be the ikea detolf and then i bought a tv mount i'm going to mount the tv over the detolf because this tv just takes up space right there and i'm going to move all this stuff here onto there so i can put my gecko enclosure right here so this whole room is going to be like changed around but in this video i'm going to be building the detolf i guess trying to figure out how to make some type of lid for it as well and just giving my hamster a really really big enclosure So we finished building the detolf. So what we did for the lid, it was kind of just like a self-made thing. Basically, there's three of these left because they're supposed to be the shelves. So I put one at the end right here and another one at this end. And then we went to Home Depot. So what we did for the lid is we went to Home Depot and we cut it. Um, I just measured it, it was like 39 inches. Um, we actually cut two different pieces because we were just gonna do like two separate sides, but I decided to put the glass with the edges right there. And then this just kind of sits on top of it like this, pretty snug and really well. And you can just take it on and off. I may eventually like put some like little handles or something just cause it's easy, so it's easier to grab. But this really works instead of a lot of people like <laughs> building the wooden doors and everything if you don't want to go through all that. This was like 10 bucks, I think, $10. And then the people at Home Depot just cut it down to whatever size that you want. And it goes over, it's super sturdy. A hamster could not lift this unless they really, really tried to, but you could also put like a weight or something on top of it, but it's a pretty good lid and it looks nice as well. So that is what I did for the lid. We're thinking about maybe zip tying the edges together right here so it can just like lift up like this is something that we're probably going to do so I can just like lift up the lid instead of taking it completely off. So basically what I would do is I would just zip tie all of these like down and it would just be like a lid where you can lift it on and off like that instead of going through anything harder it would just be easier to do that and i feel like a lot of you guys if you wanted to do this it would be a lot easier as well all 
All right, here's the progress made so far in my bedroom. I took my TV off, so this is kind of like my little bougie corner, a little, my little beauty area, which I've always wanted, so I think it looks very pretty. And then my dad's gonna mount the TV when he's done with his work meeting, and then I move this over here. It takes up the entire thing, unfortunately, but I have nowhere else to put it. This used to be on this dresser when I lived in my old house, so it's just back where it was before. Do I wish it didn't look so bulky? Yes, but fine, It's that's my life. <laughs> So my dad's gonna mount my TV up on the wall and then we're gonna put the detolf here and start decorating. I did go to PetSmart because I had to get some litter and I got a couple hamster things. So I'll show you guys what I got. Also I wanted to show you guys that I got like this wooden playground thing on Amazon. I'll put the link for it down below if I can remember. And it's like this big wooden hide playground. It's a lot bigger than this that I'm gonna put in there. And then I also got the nine inch Woden runner. Um, the nine inch is the one I could find. Um, I have a 12 inch one, but everybody told me to get this one. So he couldn't move the 12 inch wheel. So I got a smaller wheel for right now and at PetSmart I got this willow bundle chew. It's huge and it's wood. I do like the wood theme So I am gonna try to go for not completely natural I want to have some color in there as well, but some wood stuff I got some willow sticks and then I got another little hide. This is a red one I have a brown one as well because I have a lot of red stuff in my closure like red and purples So I wanted to go with like the Valentine's Day theme that I'm going for so that's all that I got really um, I'm gonna order a lot more stuff online because I'm gonna have so much more space to put stuff now and I'm literally like I'm not even gonna have a sand bath I'm just gonna have like a quarter of the detolf just be sand and I think it'll be really cool so I also want to buy like wooden ramps and stuff to go between different things which I'm going to order on Amazon probably today or tomorrow so I'm gonna wait till my dad's done with everything and then I'll show you me putting the detolf up here Okay guys, here is what it looks like, and that is with the lid pulled up like that. Like I said, it just easily comes down like this, and it just stays at the top with the zip ties. And then when I need to open it, I just put it up like that. And I can also take these glass things off if I want to, but I still have pretty good room to reach my hands to the side like that. So here is what it looks like on the dresser. It kind of fits like perfectly just hanging off a little bit so I'm just gonna go ahead and start decorating now um, that's the only thing I can really think of is the next step what's going to be fun is trying to get all of the stuff out of here while he's sleeping put it inside of here so I may have to put him in his little carrier so I already cleaned the whole inside of this with reptile safe cleaner so the inside is clean so I'm just gonna go ahead and start decorating like I said I'm gonna make like a quarter of this just like a sand area and I'm gonna do it over here. So this is what the sand bath was before and now it's going to be this whole side over here. I'm debating if I should just go ahead and pour the whole bag of sand and just replace the sand when I do the monthly cleanings or whatever. I'm actually gonna use this little wooden like bridge that I had in there. I'm gonna use it as like a divider kind of right here. I've seen people do it and it looks really cool. So now the wheel I'm gonna put in this area over here just because bedding can't get stuck in it because it's sand. It's a pretty quiet wheel. I think he's going to like it. There's one little portion right there done. Hopefully you guys can see and there's not too much of a glare. So I feel like I should put my little like tree house down and then put like bedding around it. This hamster house is actually really big. Like this is what it's supposed to look like when it's built. I literally have to pull the picture up to look at it to build it. I actually brought my step stool in here because I kind of have to stand on the step stool to see into the enclosure. So I'm just gonna build this real fast. Comes with like bridges and things like that.
I'm gonna start putting white Carefresh or Clean and Cozy or whatever the Katie Clean and Cozy, the white one, in the middle over here. And then I'm gonna put some purple over here just for Valentine's Day. And I'm taking it out of his old enclosure so he has his scent on it. Okay, I made the bedding pretty thick over there. I'm not completely done with it yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and like put the house in here and kind of like set things around it. And then I also buried that tunnel because he loves his tunnel. Like that's what he was in when I had to get him out. The top of this little house is the perfect place to put the food bowl over here. And I'm also gonna get a little glass water bowl as well. Okay, so to hold up my water bottle, I bought this industrial strength Velcro off Amazon, but they also have it like Home Depot and probably Walmart and things like that. And this is what I'm going to use to attach the water bottle. Okay guys, I am done for right now. I have all of the stuff that I have bought in here. It still doesn't even seem like enough, but let's start from the left side over here. I have my little sandbar area. We got a little critter bath back there. There's a little bit of sand in it. And then my wodent runner over here. And then we go to the right over here. For Valentine's Day, I added this mug. And I'm also gonna buy some like Valentine's Day like glass clings <laughs> to put on here to decorate for Valentine's Day. I think it would be cute. And maybe buy some like wallpaper type stuff to put in the back so it has like a backdrop. I think it would be cute. And then I just hung this little hangy toy right here because I didn't want to hang it from this and then I am freaking in love with this little house thing there's multiple different hides um, a couple of the hides are like underneath the substrate which I feel like he would really like and there's a tube connecting the two there's also a bridge and then I'm gonna be putting his food bowl up here and there's a bridge that goes up to it and then I velcroed his water bottle here velcro is working great and then I have two hides up here this wooden stick thing and then there's also a tunnel going through all of the substrate. And then I put as much of substrate as I could. I don't have any more. Like I need to buy more substrate. I literally used all of what I had. So that is what I have down here. And I think it looks pretty dang cool. I need to put the lights on it. I'm still gonna put the string amethyst lights across it just cause I just like the touch of it. But um, my dad wasn't able to finish mounting the TV up on my wall yet just because the drill that I have is not strong enough to mount it into the wall. So he's coming back tomorrow to mount the TV up for me. So you guys won't see that right now. Um, you might see it by the end of this video though. I'm not, I don't know when I'm uploading this video yet, but you guys can see what it looks like from my bed. So I'm gonna put the lights up and then I'm gonna put them inside of it and see what he thinks about it. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and grab him and put him inside. I went ahead and put the lights up.
guys, I've been sitting here just like staring at this. I think it is literally so perfect. You can obviously comment what I need to work on or if there's anything you think I should add to the enclosure, but please don't comment down below telling me that I have not done all that I can do for this hamster because look at this, y'all. <laughs> I feel like he's like an Animal Crossing character and I'm just decorating his town is what I feel like. I ordered this nameplate thing on Etsy. Um, it's like a vinyl and it has his name on it. So I'm gonna put it like in the middle of the enclosure. It just says Haru on it. I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. It should come in the next couple days. And then I'm gonna mount my TV up there and then yeah, everything's done. So I just think it looks really freaking cool. And on the glass plates up there, on the right of there I have his carrier and then I have his food and stuff over here. Just add a little bit of weight to that glass. Hey guys, it is a couple days later and I just wanted to give you guys an update and I have an extra addition that I am adding to the enclosure right now. So I just can't say enough how much Haru loves this enclosure, especially the hamster wheel. Since I put him in here, he has not acted like he has wanted to escape literally once. When he was in the bin, literally he would just paw at the sides of the bin like all night long. So he's been running in the wheel. I feel like he runs in the wheel like all night long. Like the wheel is just constantly going. First night I could barely sleep because the wheel was very loud, but then I realized it's because it was actually wasn't tightened down all the way. So it was making kind of this loud squeaking noise. But last night I was able to sleep because it was very quiet. Other than that, everything has been great. So for Valentine's Day, I bought these window type cling things to put on the enclosure because I wanted to have some type of Valentine's Day decorations. I found them on Amazon. I will put the links for them down below. They're huge. I wasn't, I guess I should have looked at the measurements before I got them, but like, here's my arm. Like it's, it's huge. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna put that one on there. I just feel like it'll. So it comes with two sheets of each design. So I have this one, this one, and this one. I'm just gonna be using the little stickers, so I'll use like these. I'll just be using like these little ones. Okay, here is the result of those. The clings work great, not complicated at all, and they literally just peel like right off. Nothing too crazy about it. So you can reuse them for the next year if you want to. I used the Be Mine sticker just because I could hide it down here, but I think it looks really cute. That is my <laughs> Valentine's Day decoration. Um, I mean, I guess it's kind of lame. It doesn't look amazing, but I think it's cute. Mm -hmm. 